one of the really crucial things is coming in with the contractor that you're going to to work with because they'll give you a sense of what's not uh, what needs to be fixed and what the possible cost is of fixing that because I think when you haven't done it at all you'd be surprised at how expensive for example new tiling can be uh, mm-hmm. so perhaps you might find that the place needs a completely new floor um, but you don't have a sense of how much it is so those are some of the things that you need to be able to factor in and budget in um, as you are about to buy that property then what's the seventh step echo that our viewers at home can um, be certainly mindful of in the event uh, um, that they want to grow and start, uh, start rather, and grow their rental property portfolio? Step number seven is the fun part. Make office. Mm -hmm. You've done everything now. You've uh, You've done your inspection. Make office. And have the patience to find that right deal, right? Do not overspend. And for example, when I bought my first three properties in 2009, Again, I had to look at the 100 properties, but it, get, it, it kind of encouraged me to have that self-esteem to be able to place multiple offers, knowing that whatever that comes out, I will still be within the range because I've done my homework. And, and that's very critical. But another thing the viewers must also understand is that even though you have to make offers, don't lose out on a good deal just because it came, you, you were outstretched by a thousand rand or 5,000 rand, outstretched out, out of your target. The important thing is, what are you going to do with that property? Is it going to break even at least from day one? Is it going to give you the best ROI that you've have, you have set for yourself? And, and once the answers are right, go for it. Do not be penny wise and pound foolish. It's very critical. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the the eighth step for viewers at home to be able to follow Echo? Close on your deal. Now you've got the offer. You've done all the necessary arrangements. Close on the deal. That process that it normally takes, you know, process of closing a normal deal in South Africa takes anything between 30 to 100, 180 days, right? Which is a month to six months, uh, depending on how readily information are available, how readily, how good the bond origin or the bond attorneys are, how good the transferring attorney is, how efficient everything else. So it's going to take you about 30 to 180 de- uh, days. And sometimes it even takes longer. Again, depending on the type of the property, the type of property, how involved it is, and what, at what stage did you involve the bank? Because it's very critical. So as you're going through all these processes, if you involve the bank at, a late, at an earlier stage, you will be able to get things. And that's why getting pre-approved is very, very critical. Because once you've done a pre-approved, then the only thing you need next to the bank uh, to go show the bank is the offer to purchase. And that is how you close on the deal. That's step eight. Mm. And it's such an, uh, I think one of the things that you you highlight, Echo, which is so important is at which point you work with the financial institution, because I think sometimes people wait until the very end to approach financial institutions, instead of almost proactively trying to find out from the get go how to get there or what needs to be in order uh, for them in order to be, you know, start their investment property journey or buy that particular property. So even if it means approaching a financial institution, let's say a year before you make that purchase to get a sense of what do you need to get right. And I think one of the great things with getting pre-approved is that it's able to flag uh, any possible issues when you get that credit report, you're able to get a sense of you know, this is how much I would qualify for. And these are potentially things that I can do to better uh, my credit score for the next you know, few months.